retain their title. The year was 2014. Tonto Yahmad and Liliana Natsir became the first Indonesian mixed doubles tandem to win a hat-trick in the prestigious All England Open Badminton Championships. We didn't think we could have won a hat-trick, and it was never easy playing in the All England. It is the most prestigious and oldest tournament that all players dream to become champions. To us players, our careers wouldn't be complete without winning a title there. Two years apart in age, Liliana is from Manado, the capital city of North Sulawesi, while the younger Tontoi was born in Banyumas in central Java. Their interest in badminton stemmed from their family. Parental support was crucial to both Liliana and Tontoi in their journey to excel. Liliana had a tough decision to make. She not only left home for Jakarta at the age of 12, to be a student at one of Indonesia's top badminton clubs, PB Tankas, she also had to choose between badminton and academics. Initially, I was worried about what to choose. My parents were worried too. I was doing quite well in school, but in the end, they agreed with my decision. I decided I would concentrate on badminton. I would give my all and train hard. Although I still continued with school then, I concentrated more on badminton. Tontoi's early years were closer to home in central Java at one of the country's best known badminton clubs. Since young, I had moved from one club to another and finally stayed on in Jerum in 2004. A year and a half later, I was selected to the national team in Palatnas. Liliana was already representing the country when Tontoi joined the national side. She was enjoying a string of title-winning performances with then-partner Nova Widianto. They were considered one of the most successful mixed doubles pair in the world. But in 2010, while still ranked number one in the world, a decision was made by the coaching star to break up the title-winning partnership and pair Liliana with someone younger. Although it came as a surprise to many, all was soon forgotten when the new duo hit it off straight away. The pair's ascent to the top was so rapid that their first title came before Liliana had officially split from Nova. She and Tontoi won their debut title together at the Macau Open Badminton in 2010. The duo's game thrived thanks to Tontoi's powerful play coupled with Liliana's years of on-court experience. I adapt to my partner's playing style. Whatever she wants, I'll follow. At the same time, you have to understand your partner's character as well. The then newly formed tandem went on to a three-title winning streak in 2011. The India Open, the Malaysia Open Grand Prix Gold and the Singapore Open. That same year, the duo became Southeast Asian Games gold medalist. By mid-June, they had risen to a career high of number two in the world. The pair continued to enjoy success the following year. Liliana and Tontowi clinched the first of their three All England titles, and in 2013, the Indonesians became the world champions. From the high of those times, there followed a period of relative drought. In a badminton country used to success, there was a lot of pressure on them both. As players, it is common to be disappointed. We have been enjoying success for a good number of years, but our performances have taken a hit lately. But that's what sport is all about. Every time we aim to be champions and we thought it would be easy, we would look at other countries that also have good players. As players, we can't always be on top, to always dominate but we will definitely use the experience and motivate ourselves to rise again. With the Rio Olympics just ahead and several major tournaments along the way, including the All England Championships, the duo is keen to get back to winning ways. We need to prepare both physically and mentally. I expect we'll go all out in terms of our training and keep track of our nutrition as well. All this to achieve our Olympic dream. 
uh, introspeksi diri dan gimana caranya kita mem- We have to step back and understand that we have to improve our communication. What does Tonto we want? What do I want? Where we're on court, we need to be more comfortable with each other and to have the same goal. With only about half a year left, we hope we can perform to our fullest potential at the Olympics. Just as we left Tontoi and Liliana to continue with their preparations, we asked them for their advice to future shuttlers. My advice for young players is never give up, stay focused, be disciplined and work hard. Lebih apa ya? Lebih memikirkan bahwa bulu tangkis ini memang sudah pilihan saya. Since you've chosen badminton, you have to go all out. Don't be swayed by outside influences or that you want to enjoy life. When you're young, you'll have friends who you think are having a good time and enjoying life. But since you've already picked badminton as your career, you have to be focused. You have to have the ambition. You have to work hard, be disciplined, and think of badminton as your everything. That will definitely motivate you to work harder and become more focused. Dia akan lebih lebih kerja keras lagi, lebih fokus lagi. As Tonto Yahmad and Liliana Natter look ahead to a full schedule in 2016, they know that they have more good years to come.